talking with Wayne is like check playing chess with a supercomputer who does seemingly complete random moves and with the mock everything you know about chess. Take that, except a few minutes to action. And even even if I win, it feels like it losing. Dang. It's just like Kenji said, even when I win I lose. Is this the power of the girls of Yamaku? Da da da. The push the dark side is too dangerous to consider for Probably just Kenji's anti female propaganda getting to be doing a moment of weakness. Yeah, maybe taking another as a pose when it worked. So anyway, you have no idea what you're doing here. She found looking extremely displeased that as a question. It's consequences or the answer she's about to give. I do have I do have some idea. I can't really tell what kind of an idea. That sounds like progress at least. He sounds like she's putting an opening for some kind of discernibly normal conversation. I can't say I should have optimism. Yeah, there is. So definitely the rest will come later. I'm sure of it. I always have reasons. That insurantially kills her ass the next one. What should be done? We're gonna leave it on devices, whatever we are. But it's late and I don't think we'll be getting any thanks if Wynn is found standing here in the middle of the night. But she probably will until she managed to remember what she was doing here in the first place. As for me trying to guess what might have been going on in her mind, but she decided to embark on it and seems to be winning to be on par winning the lottery. And my mouth is really dry. Several times in a row. Billy is oddly quiet too, and I appreciate some support from the sidelines here, but she's more familiar with Wynn than I am. But it can't be helped, she's a familiar, some familiarity with, familiarity with when is exactly what she's saying subdued. So I assume you were going somewhere and not coming back to the school, any idea where? Her eyes widen in shock and she chokes back into a somewhat artificial way, making it seem like an act rehearsal situation like this. Are you a mind reader? Is that your disability? How unique! No! What? Why would you think that? You knew what I was doing. The heck kind of face is that? Like the first time she'd make that face. Eh, it was just an educated guy. She walked the same street in the other direction that's before to get to the store. If you were going to school, it would have bet you on the way. Oh, she looks a little disappointed. Like Kenji, you went quick, quick to jump to a completely irrational conclusions. Maybe something in the water here. I have a mental note to stock up on soft drinks. You know, it's the second time this week that someone asked if I was a mind reader. Did I really give off that impression? When she shrugs his shoulders with the other again. You know. Maybe you should come back with a, come with us back to school. Lily interjects as about to further debunk my alleged mind reading capabilities. She sounds rather concerned, a paper thin smile on her face barely disguising the, that fact. Maybe she can't do the room and for everyone's sake I said to let the mind reading topic jock drop the heck jock. And it's in time you say it anyway. Yeah, Lily's right. We can't remember, there's no point staying here. When considers this simple distraction for a moment to announce. Can we please? Oh, the cicadas or cicadas, the cicadas, whatever they're called. We start towards school again, and having wasted more, way more time than necessary for this episode. Hey, no, we haven't. We're only like three minutes in. Win unlocks the. Oh my God. Win walks along the edge of the sidewalk in a rhythmic, a rhythmic way, looking like a mix of sleepwalker and rope dancing while Lily keeps one hand on my shoulder, tapping at the green of a car. Tap, step, step, tap, tap, step, step. Did I get this thing like dance? Apart from that, and a few fragmented beginnings of a conversation, it's quiet. A quiet, quiet apart from the relaxing one to town as if. So how's the mule going? We're, we are going to get bad luck. Never talk about work in progress. I'm sure it'll be wonderful. Wunderbar! Bad luck. Tap, step, tap, step. She doesn't care to think about it. Lily's pulling that nest field out of the place for the first time. Step, step, step. They hear Yamaku was on top of it, surprisingly steep going uphill. We slow the pace, we're suffused by poor sizing and breathing getting heavier. Almost there, I can see the gates ready. More than that, though, I noticed that Lily's hand slightly tightens on my shoulder, interpreting it as a gesture that she wants to ask something. I speak up. So that. Oh. Why not? Wanna know something wants to size them? If they tense up or get tight or tighten up, there you go, they wanna say something. Anything wrong, Lily? Lily? The voice crack. I was just the other say, aside from my traveling camp companion, but only just. A moment she seems to debate whether she should even bring it up, but goes for it anyways. Is everything alright? Alright, how do you mean? 
fact I can't interpret her incredibly vague question puts her off for a second. It's just you seem unusually tired, I guess. But as she brings it up, I notice my breathing is strangely heavy. The help walk, walk the up here walk has really done the job on me. Then he noticed it all too quickly. Let me save it. I really don't want to talk about it. Sorry, I'm not in. It's alright, I didn't need to catch my breath. My condition isn't the best these days. Oh. Is it something that is related to you being transferred here, I mean? She cuts herself off as a body baby. She was a bit intrusive. Her instincts are sharp enough, and while I don't like the subject, it's not like I should lie about it. If it's Lily, I don't think I mind. I'm just a little weak for the time being. Ha Hanako. Hanako said you look fairly healthy, so I naturally thought. They just finished the sentence there, letting a child off with a measure of concern. She folds her brow, and then comes to most sense, but let me say at least something to ease our feelings. So I think she's disgusted, considering her straightforward attitude with her own blindness. First, no, does not all share her own comfort by such things. No, it's okay. I have a pretty, I guess the best way to put it would be messed up heart with Mia. I had a bad heart attack a while ago because of it. I spent most of the spring in a hospital, and then Yamako and doctor's orders. She silently nods her head in acknowledgement. My answer, though, only seems to make Lily fall her bond even further and further. She doesn't seem to know how to react, given we don't really know each other that well. Why are you still here, and You haven't been part of this conversation, and I think you look on the other side of the wall. It should only be A.B. I can't really fault her for it, given I have the same exact reaction. To my surprise, in the moment she time her face shows that she's come to a sort of realization wait so that time when emmy and you collided in the hallway i grimaced lightly her ability to connect the dots quite so fast as unexpected yeah i guess i'm a textbook example of why those rules about running in the corridors exist i call them hallways but who cares that was a lot more dry than i'd attempted lily visibly shies away from continuing the topic while i do want to assume her concern i really don't want to dwell on this either don't worry about it I tried off a reason with mine, and I realized the futility of our knowing that's really smart than me, reassuring me, but didn't say anything further. Thank God we're at school! Arriving at the dorm, I was going to stop in front of a mule as if Lenny shook her. She had been so quiet for almost all of the walk back that I had all forgotten she was here. Uh, Ugh, sorry. It's Friday, isn't it? Yes, yeah, Friday, the 8th of June. How? Uh, wow, currently, right now, it's the 11th of June. Wow. This is bad! Bad? Bad? Why? Bad? I think I'm going to go into a fetal position throw up. Possibly in reverse order. Oh god. Is something wrong? No, nothing is wrong. It's Friday, nothing is wrong yet. This meal isn't going to be finished by Sunday. Do everything throw away. Do you have any drugs? Or a time machine? Why would you say drugs? This is not good. Not good. So, she's behind her schedule and calling she's doing these things. I pay him. She has left herself open for I told you so, unless she can pull off whatever she needs to pull off by Sunday morning. And keep staring at him and looking as mortified as she can. Leave me, I'm going to need to work for a while. Leave me. Of course, I don't want to aggravate anymore. I should be. Maybe we could call someone. She sounded like she was going to shock or something. I'm sure she'll be just fine. Just in. eh, how to say. Trying to find a polite way of calling one crazy while calling her crazy. Unique? Yes, a very unique person. I guess you could say that. She had the ones. She giggled at the notion, melodiously nodding in agreement. Sorry about leaving you stranded as you talk to her. I don't really understand her, so I keep my distance. So I guess we're really sight. I better leave now and give these to Hanako. Thank you for the company, Hisao. She smiles very sweetly at me, feels different than normal, despite the fact that she seems to be smiling so often. Can't put my finger on what the difference is, it's just different. I relaxed, I'd say. But it's probably just relief over getting rid of Vin, maybe. And I'm gonna end it here, and maybe come back in a couple minutes or seconds, because I'm tired.